Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Sun Upon 7. I hope that you have been enjoying what we have planned for you today in our Mother's Day special. Uh, it was quite interesting seeing how well we know our moms. I thought I knew. Then again, we have, thankfully, we still have time to get to know her better. But it's time for us to get to know Alex Evans better. He's competing in Panagrama today. Um, it's a steel pan competition that's going to ha happen regionally. Um, he's the first Belizean to participate in it. And of course, he has a talent, he has a drive, and let's get to know more about what's driving you there, Alex. Before we get there, let's just do a check-in. How are you feeling this morning? Feeling good. Yeah, you Feeling look kind right. of nervous. <laughs> no, that's just how I look in general. So how you look <laughs> yeah. in general. I was going right. to say, probably you're nervous for later on and not nervous for today, like the interview, because I know later on, like today is actually the day for the competition, right? Right. Yeah. 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 And talking about Panogram as well, we have the CEO and founder of Panogram, Mr. Devin Roach, who's joining us via Zoom. Good morning, Mr. Nevin. How are you feeling this morning? Morning, morning, guys. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get this competition on the way. Awesome. We're so excited to know more about what Panagrama is, right? So Should start off with there, like, yeah. you know, because I think people hear about Steel Pan and they're just like, they love the music, but they don't understand there are competitions out there. Solo is competitions too as well. I think most of the time when you think about Steel Pan, you think about a huge group. Exactly. So when you yeah. hear solo competition, like, oh, okay, they can stand alone. Yes. And so, um, Mr. Nelvin, could you please tell us a little, uh, Nevin, sorry. Could you please tell us a little bit about the Panagram? What is it really about? How long has it been about to as well? All right. Um, well, Panagram, as you already know, is an international steel pan competition that focuses on soloists. Um, and we expose talented upcoming musicians um, to provide wholesome and family-oriented uh, entertainment. Yeah, um, it was started in uh, 2020 during the heights of COVID restrictions and lockdowns. Um, essentially, I was locked at home, you know, couldn't go anywhere, just like much of the region and the world. Um, and I got influenced from viewing different live entertainment um, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and I thought I could bring an entertaining vibe for Steel Pan. Uh, so the idea hit me. The name is a fusion of Instagram and Pan or Panorama. Uh, we get Panorama. Um, and there I was hosting an international competition in 2020. We got uh, countries represented like Jamaica, Puerto Rico, USA, St. Martin, and others. Um, of course, Trinidad and Tobago, Antigua and Barbuda right. um, in the very first year. And we grew exponentially um, coming into 2021, where we expanded to YouTube, Facebook, and we also debuted on television. So we, we don't only just focus on bringing entertain, entertainment and exposure for these musicians like Alexander, but we also make it a point to contribute to the holistic, personal, professional, and musical development of these panists um, so that we, you know, help them to be more equipped, more well-equipped um, as they progress through their musical careers. So we have uh, persons like the likes of Liam Teague, Professor Liam Teague, who would engage with these panelists to share a wealth of knowledge. Natasha Joseph, um, she does musical development with all the panelists before the competition. And we also have Dr. Stefan Campbell, who works uh, behind the scenes with these panelists as well to help them realize their full potential uh, through personal and professional development. So it's an entire experience. Definitely. An entire... Ah, so we can see how COVID got, had those uh, screws working and you came up with such amazing event. Belize is joining Panagrama for the first time. How does, how does that feel? And uh, what, what is your take on Belize now being in the scene of this competition? Uh, well, I, I was very excited when Alexander reached out. Um, and prior to that, I didn't know much about Steel Pan in Belize. Um, I, I am familiar with um, Julieta out of Panorifics. I have a very good friend of mine and actually the 2021 champion, Keyshawn Julian, he performed in Belize before, right? Um, so to, to see the support, you know, coming out of Belize from inception to now and also to now have a Belizean competing, it's, it's such a great feeling and, and it's a reminder that um, Steel Pan is everywhere. It's an amazing instrument um, and we just have to continue doing our best to share it, spreading the love. Uh, I'm getting more people involved. So it's a great feeling to have Belize on board this year. 
Awesome, I know, we're super we excited. And again, exactly. congratulations we for being ever, the first. Yes. Yeah, like big Thank up you. yourself because, <laughs> Thanks. you know, Thanks. it's great to have us be in these type of competitions, the exposure not only for yourself, but for our country. I think that is grand. And so I, I was going to ask this question to Mr. Nevin, but now I'm going to ask it to you instead. What do you think, based on like, the qualifications, we talked about this is like, it seems like a holistic competition, right? There's actually training and help and development for you personally to grow as well. But what do you think for you sets you apart in this competition? I know you're not the first Belizean, but also, you know, what gives you that pizzazz, that extra flair, that Belizean flair to make you, you know, qualify in this competition? Well, I think what, what you just said is, is very important as well. You know that, that first of all, it's not, it's not about me. It's about representing. It's about, you know, being some, somewhat of like an unofficial, like musical ambassador for Belize and you know representing us positively on that international stage um when it comes to me personally i think that one of the one of the one of the things that i have going for me is my my abilities more as a composer and as an arranger than necessarily as a panist um because you know in the international and you know even just the regional steel pan community there's there's so there are so many adept panis. There are so many people who are great at this instrument, as, as Nevin just mentioned, you know, Keyshawn Julian. He was one of my classmates. I graduated with him from, oh, from nice. UA in Trinidad. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing panist. And that is generally the level that, that everyone is at in this competition. So one of the things that it really comes down to is what, what unique musical interpretation what unique musical vocabulary and expression can you bring that, that sets you apart from the rest of the competition? So I'm hoping that my, my abilities as, as an arranger, my ability to, to write music is going to kind of help push me in that direction. You know, one of the things that has been kind of like a guiding mantra for me over these past couple months is a quote from a jazz legend Thelonious Monk, um, which I'll, I'll paraphrase, but he said, a genius is the person best at being themselves. So I, I'm, I'm not in this competition that, yeah. trying to play like anybody else. I'm in this competition trying to play like me and trying to write my music. So it's your music that you're going to be playing for the most part? Well, it's my, it's my arrangement. So, your arrangement? Yeah, so you, you, you get to choose whichever, right. whichever song that you want, your, your tune of choice, and you have to arrange it. And there's like a certain... Um, there's a form, there's a certain, like a, like a format to, to how it should go. So you, you would create like an original intro and then you would play like the verse and chorus from the actual wow. song. And then you would go into like other variations and, and stuff. Of, and, so and then, it sounds like, I mean, it, holistically, you, you got what it takes. I mean, you, you've been talking <laughs> about it. I think it's time for us to hear, like, get a preview about what's happening this evening. Before we get into that, can you share details of our viewers? How can they support you? What time should they tune in and where? All right. Um, so the competition starts this weekend. The preliminaries are this evening, tomorrow, and Sunday. Okay. At 6 p.m. Belize time. Um, so that's 8 p.m. AST, 8 p.m. like Trinidad yeah. and Barbados time. Um, and I will be performing tonight, of the, the, the opening night. I'm the second performance. Um, they can tune in via Facebook or via YouTube. Um, I believe the, the link should be on, on the flyers and, and stuff right. that, that we shared. So yeah, I mean, I, I'll planning to put my best foot forward and you know, to everyone who I encourage you to come out and to experience some of what this amazing instrument is capable of and to experience some of the, some of the musical interpretations of all of these fantastic musicians and of course, when you see me performing, just drop all of the Belize flags in the comments. Yes, we so. love it. Let love the world know that we're here. Yes. <laughs> right, so it's time for us to get to hear Alex play. Nevin, thank you so much for joining us via Zoom to get us uh, an, an insight into what Panorama is about. Big up to your mom, and, and if you have a wife, a partner, happy Mother's Day. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your weekend. And it's time for us to go to a quick bumper while we get Alex ready to hear his amazing music. So stay tuned.